Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of 420 Grams Work from Home Specials. Like everyone else these days, we are also working from home. Uh, there is no football and in fact, Spain was one of the first football leagues to call off all their games uh, in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, Spain is currently, Europe as we all know, is the epicenter of this uh, pandemic right now where unfortunately uh, the most number of cases are being seen as well. Uh, and Spain is, has been hard hit by this uh, we are joined today from Spain by Guru Mar Chadda, who is uh, the manager of the Sudeva FC residency in the town, in the Spanish town of Zativa. He's also a board member of the Spanish Tercera Club, uh, CD Olympic de Zativa. Uh, Guru Mar, thanks for joining us, man. Uh, you in a second, uh, once we finish the introductions. We're also joined from Noida by Anuj Gupta, who is a multi-talented young man. A uh, lawyer by training, but also uh, co-owner of uh, Sudeva FC in Delhi, which runs a quite successful residential football program in North Delhi, as well as uh, fields clubs in the I-League at the age group levels, as well as uh, hopefully in the future in the I-League second division and going on to the I-League itself. And Arjun Pandit, of course, co-host of 420 Grams. Arjun, take it away, man. Hi, thanks, uh, guys. Firstly, thanks so much uh, for taking your time, uh, Gupta, for making it happen. And the reason we've, uh, you know, got this episode put together is because uh, everyone is in lockdown. And uh, currently, a lot of football clubs that were in training have also been put into lockdown. And one of them is, of course, Anuj's club, CD Olympic Jativa, which also has kids from India currently in Spain. So, Guru, you have to tell us how many days you lockdown in lockdown and what is the in Spain, mein? especially of the kids who are from India. So, on a day-to-day -day basis, how are you motivating them? How are you keeping them together? Because it's an indefinite period. Now, I don't know how long we'll be in lockdown. So, yeah. Uh, first of all, hi to all of you. Uh, so, we've been, we've been under lockdown since the 15th of March. And uh, it's been now 11 days. Uh, uh, I mean, things are fine. Uh, even though it's a lockdown, uh, if you, you can move out. Uh, to shop and stuff like that, uh, it's not that bad. Uh, but yes, I mean, you can't go out for non-essential things. So so right now I have 10 uh, boys. Uh, nine of them are Indians and one boy is from Japan. Uh, of the boys, all of them stay at home most of the time. Um, I mean, we do indoor activities a little bit. Now, um, we have, uh, fortunately, we bought some stuff just before, one day before the lockdown, like a Small table, tennis table, and darts and stuff like that, and a PlayStation as well. So, so yeah, so that's how they basically keep uh, busy uh, these days. And plus, yeah, obviously they also try to work out uh, once every day inside. Guru, yar, ye to chauda chauda din ki baat ho gayi. Main keh raha hu on day one. Say apparently when this you know pandemic was taking shape and har jagah se apko mahol se pata chal raha hai. At that time, what was the kind of atmosphere with the kids? Because these are children at the end of the day. And they are far away from So was it a little difficult at that time? In the beginning, yes. Uh, with the smaller boys. Because the most the 10 boys that I have here are uh, 18 and above. Most of them. So, but there's one boy who is who's younger, who is 15. Uh, so, yeah, it was a bit difficult with him especially. Uh, he was supposed to fly. Um, back to India, but his flight got cancelled, uh, and India had put 13th as the last date to come in to come back. Mm. So he missed his flight, and, and he had to stay over here. So he's here now. Um, it was really difficult with him, with his parents and all that. Uh, it got a bit complicated because his parents were obviously really worried uh, since he's so young. But now, uh, I mean, there wasn't, and with the older boys, uh, there wasn't, I mean, we didn't feel a panic like situation with them. Uh, they were more or less okay. I think they were also expecting something like that to happen. So, so yeah. So, yeah, because because we being close to Italy, we had already seen that it had already happened in Italy. So, it was more or less in our mind that it could happen here as well. Before the lockdown was announced, uh, thoda, because obviously Italy ka or China se of course reports aane lag gaye thai. So before that lockdown was announced, was it affecting training? Was it impacting uh, boys in the terms that they were saying that we should not go out because this is So let's just be safe rather than sorry. No, before the lockdown happened, it wasn't. I mean, there was no there was no such effect. Uh, training training and everything was happening normally. Life was uh, working functioning normally. Yeah. yeah, I mean, people started taking precautions like washing their hands uh, more uh, frequently. 
but otherwise uh, life was normal everything was working normally and suddenly the next day the government decided to lock down pretty similar yeah. in a sense to what what happened in india anuj uh, just very quickly anuj to start with what as uh, the owner of this club you and especially when since it's a sort of youth setup all the players are quite young uh the first thought must have been that you are kind of responsible for these boys and and their well being and of course uh, guramar is there and he's the man on the ground but what what were you thinking what were what were the first thoughts as as club owner that came to your mind uh well uh, first of all uh, hi guys uh, uh, and i and it's great to have such a conversation right now because i think uh, at this moment it's very important to uh, have a lot of positivity in all the videos which we are trying to make so uh well as a club owner i was more uh, concerned about uh the parents who were you know calling me on a daily basis and asking me that you know the numbers are going uh, high and high so what are you thinking should we should, should we get the children back but i was very clear that you know the numbers might be going high in spain at that moment but eventually the numbers would start picking up in india so india would also not be safe and considering shativa which is a very small town having a population of 28000 people so it's easier for us to uh, quarantine them mm. in a house or in a town and protect them rather than you know take uh, making them take the flight and putting them uh, a lot more uh, uh, averse to having such a disease on the journey uh, plus in india is also not as safe as you know i feel shativa could be so uh, i was very clear that i wanted all the boys to stay there and i'm very i'm very confident that guru would have taken care of all the boys uh, but i am nevertheless i'm happy that uh, the, the boys have come back home safely and all of them are quarantined uh, for at least 14 days now so everyone is quarantined but yeah whoever went back to india i had instructed the parents that uh, these have uh, the children have to be self quarantined for at least 14 days because they were coming from spain uh but uh, and it also showed a lot of character of the children who are staying back you know barring the one child who is fine because he's 15 year old he's never been outside india he's from sikkim uh mother is a principal father is a senior ice officer so they were very concerned but remaining most of the boys they showed strong character not even once the parent called me they said that sir we are not coming back you know uh for us this is our house hmm. so So I think yeah, I was very clear that in a and as a, as a, as an owner as an owner when you hear your boy saying that that must give you a lot of uh, must give you a sense of calm at yeah, the time man. when the entire world is going all over the place, man. But so that's why you know, and even and I give uh, I heads off to Guru. Uh, once or twice he got slightly uh, you know pissed off or uh, which is which is normal, right? When parents are putting that much of pressure, but hmm. in totality he has taken it fantastically. I mean, forget about his health. you know he has made sure that the children are very very uh uh positive and they're not thinking what is happening outside the world outside the house so i am i am i'm speaking to all of them and good thing is that all of them are working out at least one and a half to two hours very diligently which is which is which is great so you know whenever it opens up you know my boys would be ready to get back to the ground and showcase that you know they are even fitter than before Guru, Guru. Before we move on to, of course, uh, the competition time and all, just tell us some of the precautions you've taken, man. And you've done a tremendous job. I'm guessing eighteen boys. How many, how many boys in total with you now? Ten. Ten boys. Ten yeah. boys. Ten boys. Yeah. What, what are some of the precautions you've taken at that time? Because at the end of the day, you're all foreign boys in a foreign country. So, कहीं ना कहीं घर की याद तो आती है. और उस टाइम में जब घर की याद आती है, तो precaution, precaution सब दूर हो जाता है. You need that one sane head to bring everyone together. yeah precautions were basically whatever uh, was being suggested by the local government and the and the authorities i mean it was pretty easy to know uh, worldwide everywhere on the internet you get to know what basic steps that you have to follow so for example washing your hands um uh, i bought mask although i didn't give them the mask because mask up to people who are infected but just mm-hmm. in case now mm-hmm. in the time of lockdown if we are moving out then for example if i go out to shop then i wear a mask so 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 and uh, god forbid if masks are needed to be worn even inside the house in the future then i have it in stock so hand sanitizers were also bought i mean it was difficult getting all these things because they even here the availability was wasn't there 
uh, but somehow uh, we managed and uh, and otherwise uh, then i sometimes also keep checking with them if someone has fever or a dry cough you know just trying to see some some kind of symptom but uh, i mean luckily everyone is perfectly fine very healthy so yeah um inside the house they're pretty safe i wanted to get a bit of a picture of your facility there guru uh, so what is it a big house where you're all staying and uh, sort of do you have a how do you deal with meals and stuff like that who are you cooking yourselves uh, also if you can tell us now 11 days of lockdown but you've been uh, like you you mentioned in the beginning jab lockdown announced hua tha us time pe to panic buying and lot of people are stocking up on all kinds of things so availability of goods was low but now jaise agar aap shopping uh, khana wana lene jate hain kuch dawai lene jate hain to what is the situation like on the ground in terms of availability of essential goods in the market also yes so uh, about the availability the first few days yes there was panic there was panic buying happening uh, toilet papers uh, being bought uh, in huge quantities by everyone uh but i mean for us uh, since we had 27 or almost 30 boys in the beginning so we already had stock in a way because we were already stocked most of the times so if 15 boys go then we still have a buffer hmm. so so for for us i mean for me i there was no need to you know uh, start stocking items and all that but then yes when initially when i went to the supermarket and all that you could see um shelf empty shelves and all that but now it's pre- it's relaxed it's much better now there's um, availability of everything any time that you go uh, people have come back to their senses uh, but it's normal this happens everywhere around the world uh, so yeah and that way is um, material wise there's no problem and talking about the facility i mean the boys are in, we have the divided into two groups there there are seven boys living in this house from where we are i am calling right now it's a big house that has five rooms uh, a huge lawn outside and then they have an area where they play table tennis and all that as well so there's enough space for them to do indoor exercises as well um yoga um, so i mean there's so much space that they two or three boys can put mats and uh, have a session together so and and then there's another place um, in the same city of Sri Sathiva where three boys are living which is also pretty big um, house so yeah i mean guru, guru also yeah, about the finish. about the cook uh, ah yeah about the cook so so there is we have a cook uh, um since the beginning who comes every day uh, he cooks uh monday to saturdays he's coming uh, comes in the morning makes the breakfast then he comes in the evening breakfast and lunch and then he comes in the evening and he does the dinner so so he himself also takes all the precautions uh, he mm. is wearing a mask when he's cooking because he's the one who's moving out com- coming from outside every yeah. day keeping himself clean his hands clean all the time so in that sense um, it's okay guru we are ye humne na player ke families ki baat kar li and much love to you for taking care of these players वैसे आपकी घर वालों से क्या बात हो रही है यार घर वाले आपको नहीं क्या बोल रहे हैं इस पूरे टाइम में और आपने उनको क्या बोला अभी तक they are pretty calm they are pretty calm so even as they are also locked in now uh, just like me so so yeah i mean uh, i we i am in touch with them uh, this obviously a group chat happening with my my cousins my my cousins so so things are pretty calm they are not so worried about uh, the parents, situation parents understand the situation that you can't come back home and you have to stay there yes 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 so i mean I, my mom was actually supposed to travel she was planning to come to spain now but unfortunately this happened so so yeah uh, but yeah they're pretty in that sense um, they are fine everything is good anuj from a owner's perspective uh, sudeva mein kya chal raha hai bhai delhi mein ya wo pura uh, ladkon ko bhej diya ki lockdown pe hai wo bhi nahi nahi uh, so uh, so we went on a lockdown from the 14th of march and uh, we have 50 kids inside and around 10 support staff inside so since 14th we had already bought all the ration and basic uh, groceries uh, for a for at least till Ma- uh, april end so nobody is allowed to go out nobody is allowed to come in and inside they're doing their routine on a very light basis and since the section 144 has come in so now 
uh, the kids are not uh, doing the training together, but they are doing training on their own individually. And our head coach, Ento, he is making sure that every kid is involved uh, individually. Uh, and also inside, uh, we are doing a lot of video analysis. We are doing a lot of uh, uh, team-based uh, sessions. Uh, more, you know, uh, mental sessions, more uh, discussions about football and tactical and all that. So, in a way, in a way, and we're doing a lot of, so the senior boys are doing their uh, fitness in the gym. So all, the, all these things are happening. So, uh, but yes, we are not providing uh, non-vegetarian food at the moment because obviously I didn't want it to get uh, fresh uh, deliveries in because of the, because I don't want any new uh, person coming, even though they would clean and come back, but I didn't want to take that risk. So literally, they are right now on a vegan diet. So it's everything vegetarian, and uh, uh, but uh, but uh, it's fine. I think. Interesting. So you might also find like some some performance changes based on the diet change uh, because it's a long duration. Also, I think if you're saying March 14th till April end, you're going to keep these yeah. kids inside. And they'll continue yeah. on this vegan diet. You might start seeing yeah. some changes uh, based well, on that. Also. I don't know. I mean, I I don't know how I, you're monitoring I, I that. Wish, yeah, yeah. I wish the you know the change uh, brings uh, better uh, out of the players, uh, but time will tell. But I think for children, the most important thing is that they need to be involved. Otherwise, they start getting cranky. Uh, for that, uh, definitely, a couple of hours of uh, either in the gym or uh, normal uh, individual uh, football drills you know it's like what we used to do when we were you know uh, growing up in colony right ball le jaye just 50 years back <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so you know the back old football has started you know uh, hitting the wall and you know passing on the wall and all that so i think i think i think what uh, would improve uh, which we don't which we are which we're not able to do in a training is individual skills so i think now they would really improve on their individual skills, uh, and tactically we are working in the in the TV uh, in the in the rooms. So I think as a team they would learn a lot because a lot of video conferencing is happening. So uh, you're, you're taking but, this work from home very seriously, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of corporates yeah, yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, I think you know we're, we're back to work because it took me a week time, at least for me, but now I'm back on. So now I'm working on a, a scouting manual. So what uh, Vijay and I we travel. So I'm preparing a manual of how and what. Uh, one scout needs to do when he travels in India. Because I think, uh, and it will be a state-based uh, manual. So I think that's very important for all the scouts in the country. Uh, Guru, what's the response of the local people over there, yeah? Uh, with regards to you guys and just the entire thing that's going on? People are calm. People are calm. Uh, if you go out, uh, social distancing, as they say, has is being maintained. Yeah, I mean, if you see outside a pharmacy, you will see that people are maintaining. There's a queue, but the queue goes right till outside, till the streets. So because that's because of the distance being maintained between the people. Even when we go to shopping, I mean, two people can't be seen together outside. Uh, it ha only you alone can be there outside, if, even if you're going to do some stuff. So in that sense, people have come. And luckily, where we live in the Valencia region, in Shativa especially, there haven't been so many cases. So, so yeah, so what, I mean, it's just wait and watch kind of a situation for us. So, Guru, uh, you have Mehul, uh, Koki. Mehul and Koki with you. Yeah. Yeah, so why don't you call them in and we can get sort of their take also on it. Plus, Koki is from Japan, so we can ask him since the Olympics have been postponed. Ask him a little bit about the reaction from back home and also how he personally feels about that. So, bring them in. Uh, Okay, so Guru, as you can see, has been replaced by these two handsome young men, uh, Mehul Verma from Strapping Delhi. young lads. Strapping young lads. Mehul Verma from Delhi, who plays for the Jatiba B side, the senior side. And Koki Ogawa, who's from Japan. Koki, where in Japan are you from exactly? Uh, I was actually born in Korea, Seoul. Okay. Because my, my mother's Korean and my father's Japanese. All right. So, so how did you sort of hook up with these guys and make your way into the Olympic setup? Uh, so, I I first lived in Japan for five years, and after that, I came. I lived in Hong Kong for six years. That's where I first started playing football. So last year, uh, 
through my agent, I joined the Levante International Academy last year, and I I had a really great opportunity. I, I trained uh, the under 19s, but the thing about Levante's International Academy was that they, they it's hard for them to get uh, licensed. So by the end of September last year, I contacted my agent, and apparently he knew. I think he knew us. And from what I heard, it was a really, really great project because, like his his plan for the future was to establish a team full of young members, which can compete at a really, really high level. And I think that's what motivated me to join Sudeva and Shatila. And what? So, so you're essentially a Spanish transfer from from Levante to uh, Olympic, if I in that sense. Yeah. And what? Where? Where on the pitch do you play? What, what's your position? Before? Sorry. Can you can you repeat that question? I mean, where on the pitch do you play? What's your preferred position? I play right back. Right. Uh, that means using a lot of elbows, huh? Uh, uh, that's the position, Arjun. Elbow. You should have played and you should have listened to me. And you would have played for India, let me tell you. Mehul, Mehul, man. Uh, let's not make this about us, bro. This this entire conversation okay. about kid like you, kids like you who are in Spain right now. Mehul, tell us a bit about yourself and how did you land up in Spain with Anuj's team? Um, I used to play for, before coming to Sudeva, I used to play for BBFS which were a rival team of Sudeva. <laughs> then I had a plan. Then my plan after 12th was to go outside India to pursue football. I was planning to go to US for my college, but then I, I, Dinesh sir told me that you can, um, you can see this option as well. And then I explored into this, this option and it was good. It was exactly what I wanted. So I came here. When did you when did you come uh, uh, come say up or in that short time I guess it's it can't have been too long uh, in that short time you're playing for the B side now which is quite a must be quite a level up from uh, BBFS and playing domestically in India so uske uh, so last year I played in Kovinil B in which Koki is playing right now mm-hmm. then this year. Yes, last year I came in December, November end December. So it was not exactly what a season should feel like. It was a short time, but this year I it's very different. In India, we don't get to see all these seasons. There's only two or three months league, and that's it. But here you have to play for ten months every weekend, one match, continuous practice, everything. So that's that's something you ha- you learn by being here. And that's difficult. I mean, that has been difficult to maintain for me to um, keep that temperament, keep that mentality. But I'm learning new things. Firstly, I have to tell you, man, that you know when we guys were your age, we could barely put two sentences together. Yeah, we would like say, uh, yeah. I, uh, 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 that's it. We couldn't talk. So you guys have, of course, taken it up a level. Koki, what's the conversation like back home, man? I'm sure they're worried, but uh, what's the kind of conversations you're having with family? Uh, first, I'm just really concerned about their safety because, mm. as you can see, I'm Japanese, but I lived in Shanghai. My parents still live in Shanghai. So, I try to call them every day and see how they're doing. Right now, they're really good. They're fine. They're really good. And are they, are they, uh, what are the kind of conversations and how are they keeping themselves busy? And uh, what are some of the things you guys are chatting about? Like how much time do you talk for in a day? One day, I think at least 20 or 30 minutes. What is the, what is the, since you guys have, uh, you have, you're from a mixed heritage sort of situation. What, what language do you speak? Do you speak Korean? Do you speak Chinese? Do you speak Japanese? English? Or Hindi? Huh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, I learned I learned a few Hindi from from my friends here. I'm sure I'm sure they they've taught you the bad words. The so, best part. So uh, don't say it on the show. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, mostly I speak Japanese with my dad, Korean with my mother, and English with my little brother. 
मेहुल घर पे घर पे क्या बात हो रही है भाई वो तो कॉन्वर्सेशन लाइक घर पे घर पे यही कि हाथ धोते रहो और बाहर मत निकलना और बोर म, आ, कुछ ना कुछ कर लेना बोर हो तो वापस कॉल कर लेना उन्होंने मुझसे पूछा कि आप आना चाहते हो तो आ जाओ फैमिली के साथ थोड़ा सेफ भी लगता है अच्छा भी लगता है मैंने बोला नहीं मैं यहाँ पे सेफ फील कर रहा हूँ मुझे ऐसा आने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है तो ठीक है जैसा आपको ठीक लगे वैसा करो बस संभल के रहना अच्छा बॉयज आई हैव टू आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन सॉरी आई एम हॉकिंग ऑल द लाइमलाइट हियर बट लो यू नो सो वी आस्क गुरु व्हाट यू गाइस वर अप टू सो ही वाज टेलिंग अस द नॉर्मल स्टफ टीटी खेल रहे हैं दे आर टेकिंग आवर टाइम बट नाउ वी हैव द टू बॉयज हियर विद अस सो टेल मी सम ऑफ द गेम्स दैट यू गाइस आर प्लेइंग टू कीप योरसेल्फ बिजी एंड डोंट वरी अबाउट दिस बीइंग अ फैमिली शो जस्ट टेल अस एज बैड एज द गेम कैन बी एज डर्टी एज द गेम कैन बी just tell us what you guys are doing to while away time in spain just you okay uh as you can as as you heard from guru uh, we do have a playstation hmm. but i think the last time i touched it was 5 or 6 days ago i mostly been playing pp hmm. and since this week uh we have online we have online courses and school starts like we can have access to like studying revision materials so that's what i'm trying to focus right now and eating eating chocolates on the side because it's off season kind of uh, you can say <laughs> what about what about these uh, none of these apps are of any use now no tinder winder and all that so there's a, there's a crazy app that's killing it house party man house party everyone is getting on that app and playing party, games yeah. are you guys on any of these apps No, 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 no. They are good boys. Good boys, clearly. Yeah, there, there, there comes the, there comes the owner. Papa, yeah. papa, papa, sitting in the bagel. What are you saying? No, no, but but let me tell you, let me tell you about both of them, and yeah. especially Mehul. Uh, you know, uh, he is uh, someone who does uh, two to two to two and a half hours of uh, fitness along with meditation, yoga, diligently. You know, and and uh, Koki also. You know, he's. I've told him that he's working with uh, Mehul in terms of uh, the you know the elements of meditation yoga also. So I'm really really proud of uh, Mehul that you know he's kept his uh, you know uh, fitness and he's added yoga and meditation as part of his re- regime. And uh, and it's good that all the boys were staying in the residential. They are also slowly slowly learning from him. Uh, that's what I tell them. that you know it's important that yoga and meditation make them as part of your daily routine it would really help uh when uh, you'll have the time to score the goal or save the goal that's the time the uh, uh, mental toughness would would be tested mehul do you see anuj's face when you're meditating please tell us honestly <laughs> yeah, i'm not talking serious man <laughs> tell us man. he's right here एग्जाम्पल <laughs> I, I he showed me this plan where he tried to like set up his own plan for how to get into Barcelona. It it was like mm. oh nice yeah. to, like, always uh, dream big man. Get into like a small club and then start playing matches, perform well, go to like bigger clubs and you repeat the process over and over <laughs> again. Mm. It it might seem it might seem like funny at first but you can see the motivation and the ambition is there. It's wow, it's man. just amazing. Wow. Okay, thanks, man. It's Brilliant. Like, uh, right now, I just felt that I was in Shativa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Koki, Koki, to be to be to be honest, both me and Sadhant, we had dreams of playing for Arsenal, but instead we're left with a big ass belly, and yeah. uh, we're just drinking alcohol and doing nothing with our lives. No, so sometimes uh, these plans but... don't work out. <laughs> it's not easy. No, but but let me tell you. Right? Let me tell you. I'll just add. I'll just add in this that 
you know, uh, and that's uh, it's not important that whether we are able to achieve our dreams. It's very important that we carry on living our dream. That's Fair point. point. Good point. I also feel um, I I'm ये मैंने last year में सीखा है कि मैं बहुत result oriented रहता था कि मुझे matches जीतने हैं मुझे ये club में achieve करना ये चाहिए वो और इस चक्कर में मुझे भी pressure पड़ता था बेफालतू का और अब मैंने सीख लिया कि result ज़्यादा controlled actions पे ज़्यादा focus करोगे तो ज़्यादा better रहेगा इसलिए मैं ये नहीं सोचता कि मुझे यहाँ खेलना है खेलना ही खेलना है मतलब हाँ मैं चाहता हूँ खेलना पर देखते हैं वो हो जाएगा future में मगर अभी जो है उसमें मुझे focus करना है बाद का देखते हैं Brilliant boys, uh, jate jate, uh, oh, yeah, boys. Hai, hai, hai. Both, both have the dream to play for Barcelona. Yeah, Koki also. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never told of me, man. Course. What yeah, the and Leo also. Both wants to play for Barcelona. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, but the you can you can you can really see on Mehu like the simple things he does. For example, like even off season, he he eats like you can just see like the diet he has. Like little things, you know, like little behaviors and the little act. I think it shows on the field. <laughs> Super. I want to actually just before we wind up, just one more thing. Um, we were talking the other day, you know, a lot of um, how things work in India with now because we're in an Olympic year, or we were in an Olympic year at, at least. Uh, that the national teams are all in camps. at various training centers across the country and some abroad so when this uh, when when uh, news of this virus spreading widely went out a lot of these camps were told ki irrespective of whether anyone's infected or not up lockdown you, you you are going into lockdown and that the teams will remain at that facility for t- till whatever happens so some of the uh, players and stuff home sickness all of that but what we are saying is that the positive side of it is that you are at least as a group you are together you are able to engage with each other you are able to carry out your activities to to learn new stuff from each other and also to sort of work on uh, like aspects of the game that perhaps if this last 6 months can uh, lead you to end up coming out much much stronger much fitter much healthier than you were before Uh, what's your take on it since you are actually in that situation and we hum to speculate we are just speculating ye baat to sahi hai ki hame ek dusre ka support milta hai par mere khayal se is cheez mein meri help meditation ne zyada kari hai ki main akele khush reh sakta hu aur isliye agar mere sath koi na bhi ho to bhi main theek hu apne sath main kisi na kuch karta hu nayi nayi cheeze मुझे इतनी प्रॉब्लम नहीं होती और इसलिए मैं शायद यहाँ पर हूँ बेसिकलीमेंट ड्यूरिंग दिस लॉकडाउन वर्सेज लेटसेमिली If these guys weren't here, I think I would have been dying from boredom. Probably, mm. I'll probably be doing the same thing every day. Maybe like study a bit, watch videos. I think for the whole day. I don't know. But with these guys here, you know, you expect something you won't expect to happen. <laughs> That's brilliant, guys. All the very best for as long as this lockdown is there, and uh, we hope this lockdown ends quickly, man. and you guys can get back on the football field and uh, keep going abs i mean it's something god has told us to do but we've always ignored so all the very best guys it was really lovely talking to you huh? yeah thanks so much for taking the time guys all the best take care and